Hey everyone, welcome back. So I decided to make a bonus episode as a culmination to put everything together from zero to production. So previous two videos that's just been released today, what did we talk about? We talked about taking your own PDF document, right? And then we create a customized data set that is essentially ready to fine tune your own large language model. We throw that on to the cloud on plugin phase. And then we talked about how to fine tune your own Llama 2 model and then throw that on Hugging Face. So in this video, we're going to take it all the way home. We're going to take that model that we released on Hugging Face and stand up an inference endpoint. And this way we increase the speed because there's a dedicated GPU just for that inference endpoint. And then also we allow other people to use this model that we trained. So with that being said, let's turn our attention to the screen. So here's my screen. On the right hand side, you see the model Llama version two, that is a model with 7 billion parameters trained on YSA data. YSA data is a customized data that we discussed in the previous video. So that's where we start in this video. And we want to send up an inference endpoint. So the good thing about Hugging Face is they made the process extremely easy. What that means is you can click on this button called deploy, and then you can click on the first button called inference endpoint. Click on that, it will take you to this page. Now, of course, this page assumes that you have your credit card information in there, right? Because these services, they cost money. So that's where I did it. I come in here, I create an uh, inference endpoint using uh, essentially this uh, dummy page that you can just click around and you'll be able to create your inference endpoint from that. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, it's AWS, there's Azure. I think GCP is upcoming. You can select your own GPU. The one I select is NVIDIA A10G. So here it says it's a one GPU, six CPU. Every hour it's $1.30. That was okay for me. Let's try that. You can go through your configuration, check all these things. Uh, what I did is I checked the quantization as bits and bytes. Uh, and then from here, you'll be able to create your own endpoint by clicking on this button in the end. Now, one thing I would say is there's this auto, there's this automatic scale to zero function, meaning that you can select this functionality. If this is uh, 15 minutes, that's idle, right? There's no activities, then scale it back to zero. And what that basically means is if it's zero, then guess what? It is not built, right? So you're not paying money if that endpoint is down, right? So that's essentially what I did. I have that, I did have that implemented so I don't get charged money if I'm not using the service, right? So that's what I did. I'm not gonna do it again. I already have one. I'll show you guys what that endpoint look like. This is what the endpoint look like. So I have not turned it on, right? So now let me resume this. By clicking this button, this will be able to resume the endpoint. And then once this is waiting, let me take you to the user interface. So the user interface I built is using a Streamly application that's essentially deployed on Hugging Face app. Uh, so I already built it. Here, I entered a question without the endpoint being turned on, uh, obviously it will say, uh, sorry, the inference endpoint is temporarily down. I think there's a typo there, I have to fix that. Uh, but let me show you the code real fast. Uh, so go to files, go to app.py. This is what the inference endpoint look like. We have some sort of URL, that is the API that we stood up. Uh, we have some sort of headers so we can uh, get the correct data format into the payload. And that payload allows us to make uh, some sort of a post request. Uh, it's an API call using request package. And then whatever the response come back, we're going to uh, toss that into another API call to clean up, right? So here I have a helper function to make an API call. Uh, and then I query it by extracting the response. And then inside of the app, let me show you guys. Here inside of the app, I have an engineer prompt to tell the chat GPT to say, hey, look, I have the question that the user give me, and then I have the relevant content. And that relevant content is precisely what comes out of that fine-tuned model using the inference endpoint that I just created. And in doing so, I will be having a clean answer, like a nice paragraph, right? 
Otherwise, you're gonna see like bullet point and then you're gonna see one, two, three, four, five. Uh, me personally, I don't like that. I like a nice paragraph. So I use another API call here called ChatGPT to clean up the answer, right? So that's just another trick I do here. Uh, so this way the answer will look slightly nicer. Uh, let me check if the endpoints is turned on right now. Okay, so now you see that this endpoint is finally turned back on. Uh, now we can go back to the app and give it a shot. So let me go back to the app. So here it's the billing page. If I refresh in it, it will start charging money and the number will go up from 48 cents as I'm using the app. Now let me take you to the actual app. This is the actual app, now it's running. Now I'm gonna try a question. On the left-hand side of my screen, I have the data, right? So let's start with the first question. Uh, this should be an easy shot for us. Uh, let's enter that and then let's see what the answer says. So there you go, uh, YSA stands for Youth Spirit Artworks and its mission is to empower and transform the lives of homeless and undeserved youth in the Bay Area and so on and so forth. Uh, so I would say that's a spot on answer. Let's try another one. What is the objective of the program, right? Let's see uh, how we're doing on that one. And then the answer here says, the objective of the program is to train young people in the skills of construction, educate them about the business aspects of construction, and introduce them to potential career opportunities in the industry. Uh, I was looking at this answer. It's not exactly sentence by sentence, words by words. Uh, it kind of touched upon the meaning of, hey, we want to improve skills, experience, confidence to reach their full potential, so on and so forth. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. Uh, this essentially kind of provides a framework of uh, from zero to production, right? You have your raw PDF document. You want to build some sort of chatbot over it, right? You don't want to use retrieval base. You want to build and fine tune your own algorithm, right? So these past couple of videos, we talked about exactly how to do that. From your PDF document, scrape it, create your own data set, push that to the cloud, right? And then find your own model and then push the model to the cloud, right? And then deploy your own inference endpoint. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and share the excitement that I do. And with that being said, that's it for today and I will see you guys in the next video.